Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install XAMPP or XAMPP, which is basically Apache, MySQL, PHP, and Perl. So MariaDB, if you see here, it's a basically a flavor on MySQL. So welcome to my channel. My name is Amul and you are watching TapTube. If you haven't subscribed yet for my channel, please do right now. Also, let me tell you, Apache XM server is basically cross-platform. It can be installed on Windows, so Windows 7, 8, 10, whatever you have, Linux, whatever distro you have, and then you've got XM for OS X. So uh, this is my Microsoft Windows 10. You can read more about this Apache Friends XM server. So this is the web address that you need to visit. I'll leave this web address in the description. Now let's go ahead and download it. So this is my Windows 10 64-bit, but this whole software is 32-bit. So just click on it and this is going to be saved. Wherever you want, you can save it. My, I'm using Firefox, so it's going to save here, which will be obviously in download. Downloads folder. So I already have downloaded it. I'm not going to waste your time. Let me go ahead and open it. I can click on here or I can go to the folder. And in the folder, this is the XM Win 32-bit. So I can right click, open, run as administrator or I can double click on it. Alright, so it's going to take a few moments here. And then on the prompt you say yes. And I'm going to close everything. Also this comes with a lot of flavors. So this window, the warning window says that on your system UAC is enabled. Basically it say, it's saying user account control, control is enabled. So click OK. And now XM setup wizard. Click next. Do not make any changes over here if you want. If you know what you're doing, you can definitely do that. Otherwise, you click Next. XM, you do not want to change this. Leave it as it is and then click Next. I do not want to learn more about Bitnami. So I'll uncheck the box and click Next. So it's in the process. Now let's go ahead and click Next again. Now you will see it's starting install installation and this will take some time so I'll be right back in a moment. Thank you. Alright, so thank you for your patience. It's almost installed. So, yeah, XM server has been installed here. Now, all you want, you just click here, finish. Do not uncheck the box. It's going to open the control panel now. And here is the control panel. Before it launches the control panel, you want to make sure that you have selected the language. So, this is English. Save. And this is your control panel. So you can see what Apache, MySQL, and when you run Apache, it's already running PHP. Okay. So basically, it's easy to manage everything and it's very user friendly. This is why this is the best software, basically, a package, a server for all the Apache distribution, like Apache server which is HTTP, D, T, whatever you call it, a MySQL server, PHP, Perl, and few other things here. So to start Apache, you simply click Start. To start MySQL, you click Start. And if you just close it, it's still running here in the background. You can see it here. So if I open any browser and go to localhost, that would be dashboard for everything. PHP my admin. It also installs the PHP my admin, not just the Apache server. It installs the PHP my admin. So let's go ahead and check. So this is 
basically php info if you're getting this that means php is running on your system it's configured properly okay so you can scroll down and have a look on everything and then just close it now if you click here php my admin this is interface php admin my admin interface to communicate with the server like sql server so it's easy enough this is how you install xm server to manage apache mysql and php so it's a complete setup it basically a php development environment setup in just a few clicks so thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe for my channel have a good day bye for now